Ladies and gentlemen, the man has returned. Assuming that this drops before my top 10 in the Dicky game video. That I might not drop, honestly, because I'm doing this. But yeah, basically long story short, I'm back. We're gonna get back into the groove of things. We're gonna we're not letting the motivation slip out. Life life got serious for a second, you know what I'm saying? So I had to take a little break. But we're back. Better than ever. Part time pre drop soon. We will be on that. Super Chicken 3 d I'm assuming drop either this year or beginning of next year. We're gonna be on that too. Anything else I'm missing that I already did not understand. If I do have to leave, I will tell y'all and I will tell y'all the reason and things of that nature. I'm not gonna keep leaving y'all off the drive and doing that on and off for the past year now. Not even a year, but like the past like two years. Damn near three, honestly. And that's interesting. So I'm here to stay up. So we're gonna get right into the things. Now that year we are, we have a M Dicky game tier list. I did not think I was gonna find it, bro. But here we have it, my nigga. M Dicky game tier list, and this is a lot. A lot. I don't know why there's so many. There might actually be a, a different one that's like less complicated. Okay, this one seems less complicated and more, you know, content. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all know right now though. Oh yeah, let me put this in. Because bro, I'm gonna be honest with a lot of indie games, I should have just had my food. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the bubble right now before we actually start with the rank. All I can get so crazy, but as long as you're right here. Look, bro, I'm a simple man. I'm sorry. Look, 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 bro. I know a lot of, like, you feel me, underrated are right here. I'm a tragic. I am very much a casual. I'm not gonna say like, like I'm the biggest and Dicky fan I've been here since fucking, you know what I'm saying? His very first game and all that shit. Um, I'm telling you though, I know I know about the majority of these games. I just have to them. So I can't really like, you know what I'm saying, talk about them. Like I know what you test me shirt shot, stunts, empire, like I know what all this shit is about, but I haven't played the game bro, so I can't you can't really fault me for putting them over here because like I'm fucking like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say about games I never played before, bro. So don't act like I just don't know these games. It says never play for a reason. Not never, not I don't know. It says never play. So yeah. Anyways, let's get into the mode. Wait. So we're starting off with, um, let, let's start with Empire Remix. All right, let's start with Empire Remix. Okay. Um, Empire Remix, it will go in, okay. It's very fucking chaotic and very like idiotic and very, Gory. I'll give it that. But it's not a good game necessarily. It's kind of just there. I don't know what to tell you. It reminds me a lot of Hard Time Reading. Is that even on? I'm surprised. But yeah, it kind of is kind of just like Hard Time 3D and things of that nature. So yeah, there's not there's not much to say about the game. Yeah. Moving on to Hard Time. I think I got to do all this for it. Like, yeah. Okay, so Hard Time. Amazing. For sure. For sure, bro. For sure. I low-key could have edited these. Because some of these don't, like, I feel like there's way too much. Like, oh, there we go. That's the end word. Now we can put it at go there, you feel me? Because, bro, hard time is so fucking fun, bro. Like, dude, this is literally a top three in the game. You can argue with the fucking wall. Like, don't care. You basically get locked up and you're given a prison sentence and you basically just have to, you have to wait it out. You know what I'm saying? God will let it rock. But that's the thing. You don't technically have to. Like, bro, you can really cause chaos in there, and there's really nothing that could be done about it, bro. They give you, like, extra, like, what, three, five, three to five days, just because, like, you nigga, I caught a body. What are you gonna do? Three days? What the fuck? Like, you could really want a spree, and they'll only charge you for one person. And then, if they defend you, you dead ass want a spree, and it's like, there's nothing niggas could do for real, bro. But when you finish their sentence, you can either... Just chill, you know what I'm saying? Or it's like you can just chill and just like live like normal as a civilian. Or you could, you know, live like a criminal if you get your hands on some weapons and end up right back in jail. Or you could become a warden and control the prison. Niggas don't, you know what I'm saying? Look at you crazy, especially if you like join a game, you know what I'm saying? We still SOGK by the way. But yeah, if you know anything. You can also escape by digging tunnels or climbing out the cage that's outside. Either way. Just don't run into any cops once you leave, and you should be straight, you know what I'm saying? The time will go by, nobody checks on you, nobody wonders where you went, and nobody, like, no cops or anything see you leave, like, you dead ass can just wait at home, outside. You don't even have to come back, technically, but if you do, nobody really's gonna care, so they'll be like, hey, your time's up, and then, yeah, you just go right back outside leaving this time, so it's like, you might as well go back if you do, just don't make sure, just make sure, like, if you leave by, like, tunnel, 
just make sure you don't run into any cops. Because, you know. Yeah. Super fun game. Cannot wait for a hard time for you to drop. That was the whole gap session. But anyways. Wrestling Revolution 2D. We're going to put this at good. Nostalgia wants me to put it at good. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. And that fucking menu music been stuck in my head for the past nine years. Bro. I'm not even joking. Ever since I've been playing this game, that menu music has been stuck in my fucking head. And I literally don't even hate it. I don't hate it at all, bro. I love it so much. Like, every time I just be chilling and all I just hear is fucking... So, yeah, you know, there's really, I feel like you already, you, you know how this game goes, bro. You pretty much just either you're going to career mode or booking mode and you just, you know, fight people. I don't know. Like, it's like, a good game. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. It's a good wrestling game. One of the fucking biggest wrestling games on mobile. A lot of people's first and game. It's my first and game. Yeah. There's really just not much to it. That's why I play it good. There's not much content. It's kind of just not much outfit choices. Things of that nature. It's kind of just there, you know? Even modded is kind of just there. I noticed they got hard time right here twice, actually. I don't want to put them both in good. I'm just going to leave it there. Rest of Revolution 3D. Yeah, okay. It's better than 2D. That's the only reason why I'm putting it here. But... I don't know. The mods make it, honestly, an auto number two in the game for me. But as a base game, it's still great, but it just lacks aura. This is probably the, you know what I'm saying, other than the 2D version, the game that shifted a lot of people to the other Mdiki games, like, you know what I'm saying, Hard Time and all that stuff. But if I'm really being honest, nostalgia is the only reason why I have it though, so long. Because it's kind of just pretty much a remodel, remaster 2D, but it's not really like anything special in its own game besides nostalgia because like i said menu music fucking word rumbles i used to fuck shit up bro. i used to fucking love to do word rumbles in this game yo i remember there's a time during quarantine where i would make a whole bunch of like just random ass niggas i made a video on that where i had made a whole bunch of like random people in 3d and during quarantine i just did hella word rumbles it was so fucking exciting like bro one minute we got you know what i'm saying like randy Orton or kevin owens and then the next minute we got fucking Power Rangers or like fucking Mortal Kombat characters and shit. Like it was just crazy. Some shit that, you know what I'm saying? I thought I'd only be able to do on WB 2K, but you know what I'm saying? Quarantine really made me bored that much. So, but anyways, yeah, this game is good. This game is good. But I feel like. Why am I talking this much? Okay, look, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. Because I've noticed I've both been like kind of side eyeing the, me putting it up there. So I'm gonna put it. It's better than 2D, but it's still just good. Not looking at the nostalgia of it. It's still a good ass game though. Like, I just said, like, bro, I don't know. What to, I really don't know what you want me to say, bro. Like, it's a good wrestling game. It's a good wrestling game. I wouldn't say it's an amazing wrestling game. That's why it's like, and it's definitely not voted the game, you know. So, yeah. Anyways, what we got next? School days. I'm not far away. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not, bro. I've never really been a big fan of it. Compared to old school, this game is very bland. And I hate to compare everything, but in all honesty, there's really not much in this game. It's basically just a teenage version of Hard Time with fucking Wrestling Revolution style fight. So, and that doesn't make it a bad game, but it's just obvious that the others on here are really better as far as the versatility. It's just school, fighting, getting in trouble. I don't even know if you can graduate in this fucking version. But yeah, I'm gonna put school days in there. Weekend fucking warriors. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Mm. I love weekend warriors, bro. Oh my god, I love weekend warriors. Man, man, oh man. The potential this game had, it truly could have been a top five in the game. If this was in like a wrestling empire style, bro, this really could have been a great, like, bro, this would have been a golden ass game for real. Like, swear to God. This is way better than wrestling revolution, I'm being so honest. My thing is, though, I've always wished there was a reverse system in Dicky games. Like, I've always talked about that with wrestling empire. And this game, I feel like, especially should have had that. And the counter button does not count. I'm talking about an actual reverse system, like, where you can actually try to reverse, you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine being able to, like, dodge and weave and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, technically you can, but but with a button, just press the button, you can like try to like dodge and shit like that. Like, I feel like that'd be fine. But regardless, peace and dudes up on here is so satisfying, truly. Now, the career mode is a bit wonky. I guess because I'm not used to it being like that. You can kind of just, I don't know. 
like I'm just not used to career mode like, and it's so like part time. But you know, regardless, it's still a great game, not bad at all. No, we got next, we got next. It's like, bro, I'm only gonna have one other game that's gonna be up here with these two. And yeah, I feel like y'all know what it is when they get to it, but yeah. Super City is my second favorite MD game of all time. I gotta play a little hard time for sure. Like, I love Super City. Now, the base game, again, I don't mod Super City. I don't even play any mods from Super City. Nigga, everything I've done from Super City was strictly me. I haven't touched any mods. I don't even know if there is any mods. Like, I'm pretty sure it just recently came to fucking PC. But yeah, bro. I would just create people from like. Because, like, the base game is like the roster is pretty basic. So, I would add people. Mortal Kombat, The Boys, Invincible, fucking Power Rangers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just anything I can, I would add them, and I would go crazy, and it'll be so fun. It's this like excitement that like you feel me that vibrates from this game. And I really do enjoy it so much. You literally just take over the city, bro. That simple. And there's different um, ways to get your powers. You can get beat in a fight, and then you end up getting your powers, which is like the most common way. You can like die, and then get brought back to life with powers. There's different types of like powers you can have, you know what I'm saying? Like there's different ways you can have your powers. You can have it like you can control it like gradually, like you feel me? It's kinda like like human torch type shit where it's like you can be human and then you can just like have your powers. Just you feel me? You get know what I'm trying to say? And you can have them like permanent, that's what I always do. You have permanent powers. You can have like the whole course like uncontrollable. You don't know when the fuck is going to like activate or deactivate. You can have like Iron Man where you can do like a suit up type of, you know what I'm saying? Way to get your powers. You can fly. Like, <laughs> bro, when the 3D version of this job, oh my God, I will not shut up. And the videos will not stop coming. I promise you. There's really not much left to say. This game is amazing. It's goaded, should I say. <laughs> Wrecked. I'm debating man or bad, honestly. There's not much to do in right? You just survive. That's it. Yeah. I'm playing bad. It's, it's, not, it's, not, bad. it's not bad. You just survive. You just, or try to, at least. I mean, that's really it. You just try to survive. Yeah. Anyways, extra lives. <laughs> extra lives. Going in amazing. Mm -hmm. I might put it about Weekend Warriors. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I got it. Extra life is very versatile. But I feel like the only problem is you eventually have, like, you run out of things to do. And that's really with all these games. There's no, like, you know, like, it, it take, it's really simple. All these games are very simple as far as, like, the story behind them. But, yeah. There's, it just, you kind of run out of things to do. You just, you start off as a human, become a zombie, get cured. Now what, you just keep fighting, or do you just stay as a zombie, or like, what are you gonna do, you know what I'm saying? If you stay as a zombie, you're gonna die eventually, so it's like, there's really not much direction, I guess, or like, much story. But I do enjoy the feature with the protesters, where like, they try to get you to not kill the zombies, even though they themselves, they themselves can still get killed by zombies, you know what I'm saying? Like, and there's also wizards in here as well, and you can become one, you just kill zombies by just touching them, I believe, last time I checked. So that's a fun little feature to have in the game. So yeah, Extra Lives is definitely an amazing game, for sure. Back Wars. Back Wars. Mm. Great. Great fucking game. Great fucking game. This was like my first gory M. Dickie game where like, you know what I'm saying? I played it Remix like way after like most of these. But this is like my first gory M. Dickie game where like motherfuckers like to get decapitated and legs cut off and shit like that. They caught me so off guard and I was, little me was fucking having a blast, bro. Like, I was fucking, I was fucking shit up for it. And this game had the versatility, bro. It had the story. You know what I'm saying? Like, you start off against, you start either as the past or the present. Y'all go to war, you feel me? Then the future coming, this motherfucker. And you know what I'm saying? They like, hey, thanks for doing all this, but shit, we finna start over from scratch type shit. And then once that's over, the zombies come in, and that's when they get crazy, and it's just like, come on, bro, are you for real? Like, I thought it was gonna keep going. Like, that shit, did you genuinely have me so starstruck when I was little? Like, I was like, bro, 
this game has so much like story to it. Like I'm like not used to that with them Dicky games, bro. Like with Super City, y'all take over the city and you just wait for the villains to just pretty much bounce back. You know what I'm saying? In a hard time, you get out of jail and you can pretty much just go back. But I mean, other than that, you just chilling doing nothing. But this game, it's like nonstop fucking chaos, bro. And I love that genuinely. Once it all that is over though, you kind of do have to just do nothing unless you just start over. And then you could be like zombies, or you can choose to be like the future people, or you know. And the future people, they fucking their guns are just so advanced, they blow up everything, run through everybody. Like there's really not much to do. Niggas having lightsabers and shit, they deflecting bullets. That's all we got is bullets and grenades, and you know what I'm saying? They got RPGs and fucking lightsabers and laser guns and freeze guns and shit. Like that's so fucking OP. And then you bring in zombies in the motherfucker. Like what they gonna do? Anyways, though, but yeah, back horse, love that game. Old school, it's good, better than Empire. I mean, Revolution. Um, yeah, it's better than 2D Revolution, at least. It's kind of right in the middle of those because it's like it's basically Empire but mixed with School Days. It's basically Red Sun Revolution 3D mixed with School Days with a hint of extra features like being able to drive and things of that nature but it's still kind of just school basically you go roam around i guess that gives people like an updated sense of dopamine but i mean yeah you can walk around it's pretty much just school though same as school days just 3d and moving on to the last game and we already like i said y'all know y'all know what it's going my favorite MDPM of all time as much as i shit on the game bro it's it's amazing it's it's very very fucking good and came if i didn't I can't even figure out a lot of you. This is a great ass game. In general, not even just with Indiki. Like, bro, I've been comparing this game to WW2K games since 2K20, bro. It's been around for that fucking long and it still has not got, like, it's not lost its spark. If anything, it's constantly regaining and multiplying the aura and the spark and the fucking. Oh my god, this game is so good, bro. I've been putting it toe-to-toe -to -toe with every 2K game since 2K20. Man. It's been around for the past, what, three or four years? And it's been competing with 2K constantly, bro. Like, the mods is what makes it compete with 2K. At least, like, the recent 2K games where it's actually been good. But as far as 2K20, the base game is way better than 2K20. It's really not, like, comparable, honestly. There's not much to compete with. As far as, like, the base Wrestling Empire and 2K20, I made a whole video. It's old as fuck, but if you want to go watch it, go watch it. I made a whole video comparing the two, and it's like, bro, Wrestling Empire clears. Genuinely, the base game back then, where there wasn't as much content, there wasn't any free roam, there wasn't as much moves as there is now. Like, it was very limited. Like, he kind of dropped it, and it was almost like a beta to what it is now, bro. Like, genuinely, like, a demo. Like, looking back at fucking Wrestling Empire when it first dropped, Compared to how it is now, that shit was like a fucking demo, my nigga. Like, it has evolved so wonderfully. Like, literally aged like wine. And, bro, it's better than 2K20. Arguably better than 22. It's not better than 23 or 24, I mean, honestly, but, bro. You really just gotta learn how to, like, use it. Like, it's a sandbox, bro. Whether it's with the mods or just a base game. This game could be really fucking fun, bro. Like, it, the, the creativity and the freedom that you have with this game is why I have it. That's my favorite, bro. You really can do anything, bro. And, bro, that one punch mod, we are hopping on that soon. And I am finna use Homelander, because I was gonna use a lot of people. But I seen that young fro already use, like, most of them. Like, Omni-Man, Hulk, Thanos, things of that nature. But I see he didn't do Homelander. If he did, the video isn't up, so I'm doing Homelander. <laughs> and I'm fucking shit up with Homelander and that shit, bro. I'm like, he's about to run through that hole. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, man, that is it as far as this tier list goes. That's all the games. I, I get I haven't played a lot of indie games. I don't really have plans to play most of these. I might try out U Testament and like, you know what I'm saying, the older empires, but most of these I really don't have any interest in playing. That's why it's like, you know, like I could have just played them right quick and then just for this video, but it's like, I don't even know why I find most of these, bro. Like I was on his website because I got Super City up there. I don't even, I didn't even see most of these, so bro, 
I don't know what you want me to do. All right, but anyways, man, that's this is my official tier ranking. Screenshot, go ahead, share with your friends. Tell me how much of a golden list I made. Like, tell me, tell me this list isn't golden, bro. Tell me this list is not fucking golden. Like, tell me, please, try to convince me that this list isn't a golden ass list. I get school days are probably higher for like a lot of people, cause that was pretty much like as far as like casual mobile game players, school days will be even golden. But gang, as an M Dicky fan. <laughs> But as an M. Dickey fan that's been playing a lot of his games, that has played, you know what I'm saying, a good portion of his games, at least the ones that are worth playing in our eyes. If you want Sarah Tony Remix, should be higher, bro. You just fucking stuck in nostalgia. Same with the fucking Wrestling Revolution games. But, anyways, that's all I got for today's video. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, we love Nas. Follow me on TikTok, we love Nas underscore. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, bro, I'll see y'all next time. I'm out.